Hey, these are the daily prayers for Thursday, the 4th of February, 2021. Um, you, if you watched yesterday, you know I'm at home. I'm at home again today. And you can hear the sounds of home <laughs> in the background. And uh, guys, I, uh, you can know this, uh, that not only I'm at home, I'm also getting some mileage out of this sweater. <laughs> Uh, and enjoying um, enjoying the winter time, uh, the, the beauty of things being uh, clothed in white. And though I, I think we're going to see a little bit of that departing day by day going forward, it's it's a, just a, an incredible reminder of uh, of the time for every purpose under heaven, a time for uh, all of the good things that we know attend our faith in God, but also a time for those things that we don't normally associate with faith. Um, the struggles, the difficulties. Uh, but we, as Christian people, look forward to... We look forward to the rescue. It isn't that we rejoice in, in dark times uh, as though that suffering were to bring about uh, some type of a benefit that would, that would accrue to us for eternity in the presence of God, but rather that it is God who is our refuge and our strength, and He's the one who calls us not only into sometimes things that are very difficult, but, but always faithfully through them, and at last to himself. And so we rejoice in that God, and we pray to that God, because you know what? He promises to listen, uh, to guide us through, um, and, and, well, frankly, what more could you ask for? Well, let's pray to that God together uh, through his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you uh, for the beauty of the earth, uh, that you dress it marvelously uh, in a robe of white, and we thank you, Lord, for the beauty of your heavenly realm that you desire to bring into being here around us. It is uh, us one day who will be robed in white, covered in the righteousness of Jesus Christ as we abide forever in your presence. And until that day, Lord, we live as sinners and saints. Uh, sinners of your own redeeming, uh, saints of your own creation, redeemed in the blood of Christ, raised from the waters of baptism, a new people to follow after you. Lord, guide that path that leads to your heavenly realm. We believe that by the working uh, of our hands, by the, by the traveling of our feet, by the engagements of, of our minds and our hearts through faith, that not only will we uh, draw closer to your kingdom, but it draws closer to, to us as well, that you are a God who rewards those who earnestly seek you. And so we pray for that reward, that when we pray together the Lord's Prayer and ask for your kingdom to come, that we would receive that thing uh, which Martin Luther says, uh, your kingdom comes whether we pray for it or not. And that is good news. But we pray that it would come here among us also. That your kingdom would abide within our hearts, within our homes, within our church, and within our community. That uh, you would cause your blessings to overflow here. And that by the working of your Holy Spirit, uh, movement and change would occur. That things would, would grow steadily out from the doldrums, out from the darkness, and into the glorious uh, new day that you will, you will bring forth like the bursting dawn and like the coming spring. Lord, help us to see those days coming and to work patiently, uh, but also help us to see those days coming that when they arrive, we might rejoice together uh, in the fullness of your joy, for you desire just that for us. Father, there, there are many, many things that we can ask for. But there is precious little time that we spend in gratitude towards you. We thank you for that coming kingdom. We thank you that you have brought it to us, that we are even able, by your grace, to, to be recipients of the faith that you have poured into us, to live by that faith in a life that is precious and new and beautiful and good. Lord, we receive our thanks for all of the, the answered prayers as we continue forth uh, praying and praying day after day to you. 
that it isn't as uh, as you say from the abundance of words uh, that the that like the pagans who hope to be heard for the sake of such things we simply pray because you answer because you hear our prayer because you desire to hear those prayers lord and we desire to see your hand at work and in doing so we have a relationship with you which is beautiful and good and you have blessed us with that receive our gratitude for that blessing lord help us uh, this day as we go forth to see your kingdom around us to see the signs of its coming and as we await that time uh, in the year before long where the first beautiful flowers will poke up through the snow uh, as, a, as a down payment of a promise. Lord, show us such things in our lives as well, in our families, in our homes, in our church, and in our community. Bless us in these things we pray through the name and for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, friends. Well, listen, God bless you guys. I do hope this, that as you, as you go forth today, that you have cause for taking a moment to rejoice in the good that God is showing you right now. There is no place so dark that the light of Christ does not shine in it. And I pray that you see that light today. I pray that you are washed in it, uh, but, but that you get a glimpse of those things that God is doing and the kingdom that he is bringing here among us. And grace and peace to you. We will see you later.